Praise the Lord. Yes, Timothy is my name. Amenemoit is my second name. And I believe Professor Don has really tried to get it right. When they told me that I would be pastors, well, some people kept on saying that, and I used to tell them, don't you dare prophesy that. Don't say that. Stack it up with you. Today, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Amen. But we thank God for this. Um, kindly, I want us to just listen to a certain song that maybe will minister to us, then we can proceed from that point on. Amen. what was happening but somehow they still didn't get their picture the Lord wants to serve you the purpose of his coming was greater than even what you think is troubling you eternity is something key yeah sometimes seasons in lives in, in, in our lives just go past us we have, let me just use this to maybe say something that I'd not, uh, it's not part of what I'd prepared for, but maybe this can speak to someone. We have different seasons. We have different times. Yeah? The Lord has a, you are not cut out from the same piece with someone else. You as an individual, the Lord has a purpose for your life. There's something about you, personally, not your kids. Your kids, they also have their own purpose. And that's why man normally struggles with these four questions. Where do I come from? Why am I here? Who informs my morality and where will I go? Destiny. The question of meaning normally disturbs man. Why are you here? Are you trying to get your definition from what you think you are or what man tells you? Or are you getting your definition from what God says you are? You are not an accident. And the very fact that you are still alive at this, mo at this moment, that there's a reason why God has actually preserved you. And nor does it mean those who have gone did not have a purpose. At least they lived to accomplish their purpose. You have a, you have a time, you have an opportunity right now to fulfill your purpose. But do you know what it is? Are you getting your definition from what God says? You are. Do you understand the time in life you're in right now? Even your being here in Eldoret at such a time as this is not an accident. It's not you. There's a reason as to why you're here. There's something the Lord wants to do in your life now. And there's something the Lord is preparing for you. And that's why you are here today. May we get our, may, may we try to understand the Lord's timing. There's one thing that they, when the apostles asked Jesus, oh, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? The Lord Jesus told them this. It is not for you to know the times and seasons that the Lord has placed in his own power. It is not for you to know. But you can be sure there are seasons. Right now you might be, I don't know what you are going through, but you can be sure there are seasons and a season comes and a season goes find out why you are in the why you are in this season are we together yes don't be like this crowd that the, a time a, a significant moment goes past them and they have no clue they are so engrossed at what they are suffering to the point that they are they are blinded to anything prophetic are we together May it not be us, in Jesus' name. So even as we shout Hosanna, meaning save now, save now, Lord, may we do it being cognizant of the fact of what God is doing in our lives. Are we together? My purpose. Yes. But anyway, you get the point? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So may you rejoice in this. Amen. Let us pray.